two cyclists 36 miles apart start running toward each other at the same time. One cycles two times as fast as the other. If they meet two hours later, what is the speed in miles per hour of the faster cyclist? Part A, we're asked to write an equation from the information and use R to represent the speed or rate of the slower cyclist. And then part B, determine the speed or rate of the faster cyclist. To begin, we need to remember that distance equals rate times time. In this case, though, we'll have two products of rate and time, one for the slower cyclist and one for the faster cyclist. And because the two cyclists are riding toward each other, we'll be adding the two products. To help model the situation, let's let the length of the line segment on the right equal 36 miles. And again, because the two cyclists are traveling toward each other, one is traveling from left to right in this direction, the other is traveling from right to left in this direction. The rate of the slower cyclist is r miles per hour. Let's label this arrow r for the rate in miles per hour of the slower cyclist. And because the faster cyclist is traveling twice as fast, the faster cyclist is traveling 2r miles per hour. And again, because they're traveling toward each other, we'll be adding the products of the rates and times for the two cyclists. So going back to our equation, distance equals rate times time. The total distance is 36 miles, giving us 36 equals. Let's determine the rate times the time for the slower cyclist, which is traveling r miles per hour for two hours, giving us r times two, and then plus the rate times the time for the faster cyclist, which is traveling two r miles per hour for two hours, giving us two r times two. So for part A, let's write the equation as 36 equals 2r plus 4r. The homework system does not want us to simplify any further for part a. Be sure to leave the equation in this form here. For part b, to determine the speed or rate of the faster cyclist, we now need to solve the equation for r, then determine the value of 2r. Remember, 2r is the rate or speed of the faster cyclist. So looking at our equation again, let's first simplify the right side. 2r plus 4r is 6r, giving us 36 equals 6r. Solve for r, we divide both sides by 6. Simplifying, we have r is equal to 36 divided by 6, which is equal to 6. We now know the slower cyclist is traveling 6 miles per hour, but again, the faster cyclist is traveling 2r miles per hour, which is 2 times 6, giving us 12 miles per hour. As a complete sentence, the faster cyclist is traveling 12 miles per hour. I hope you found this helpful.